Three weeks after a fiery crash in Hickory Hill killed three women, the founder of a Memphis dance school is stepping up to help a young survivor. The two-year-old girl who survived the crash lost her mother and two of her family members. Fox 13's Dominique Dillon joins us live from LYE Academy in Collierville. Dominique, so what made this dance instructor decide to lead this type of effort? Well, Darcy, Ladia Yates with LYE Academy says when she heard what happened, it devastated her and it remained on her heart for weeks, moving her to act. She wanted to do something, so she decided to call on the community to donate items to this toddler who was at the center of this investigation. Just like this, it just, it, it pricks me because I've experienced it. So imagine three family members and a child that's only two in critical condition. I've Holding back tears, Ladia Yates, the founder of LYE Academy, explains what drove her to collect donations for two-year-old Malaysia. I don't think that it should have hit the news and a week later and now we're moving on. No, we need to jump back on this situation and attack it because this has got to stop. Little Malaysia was the lone survivor in a car with three other family members, including her mother. Memphis police say last month, a teen was speeding away from officers after being spotted in a stolen car. That teen is accused of running a red light, hitting the vehicle Malaysia and her family were in, killing three and sending the toddler to the hospital in critical condition. That's very tragic, especially for a two year old. And as she gets older and learns what really happened, you know, God bless her soul. But for now, what we can do is come together and help this family. Yates is collecting donations with the help of community activist Frank Gotti. He's warning criminals their actions can result in unforeseeable outcomes. And to the other young man that's out here stealing them cars, y'all better learn from this, from, from little dude mistake. You know what I'm saying? They better learn from it because they could have been, they could be them next. Yates and Gotti are accepting just about anything you can think of. Clothes, shoes, pull-ups, toys. And this is all going to go to Malaysia along with her six-year-old sister. If you're interested in donating, come on down here to LYE Academy at Carriage Crossing in Collierville. But if it's a little too far for you, there are other locations as well. We'll have a list of those locations along with this story on our website at fox13memphis.com. Darcy? That is Fox 13's Dominic Dillon reporting live tonight. Thank you, Dominic.